Another Monday here at Faction Motorsports. Keep it down! It's another hot lap. Monday the 13th. As you can see, it's hog season. Weather's getting good. All you hog brothers out there, get those engines running. Start those engines. What are you looking at, Chris? You're looking real suspicious over there. Oh, what's been going on the past two weeks? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, past week, we finally got the alignment rack, rack up and running. We've had a good amount of customers come through already. There was like a, a line of four already, so probably did a good six to seven alignments already, if not more. So hit us up. We got openings every week, every day. We'll make it happen. A lot of drift events coming up, so come through, come through. Speaking of drift events, No Fear Moves was this past Saturday. Our good old buddies Carl and Daryl drove. They drove their 1Js for the first time. Well, drifted their 1Js for the first time, and it seemed to go pretty well. Uh, go check out both of them on Instagram. They both have a little post to commemorate their first day with the 1J on the track, so... A lot of cool stuff. I think Carl had a little mishap with an oil leak of some sort, but he made it work, I think. Um, ooh, East Coast Bash coming up in two weeks, Eddie? Two weeks? Next, it's next Saturday, the 25th. That's why we got the show. What you laughing for, Chris? <laughs> uh, yeah, East Coast Bash. Uh, we, might, we probably won't vent there, but if some of our friends are driving, we'll spectate, you know, have a good time. Party. Yeah? Chris is driving. He says Chris is driving. You driving, Chris? That seems like a no. All right, turn that sh off. Uh, inventory rundown. What do we got new in inventory? Come in, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Follow me, follow me. What do we got new in inventory? Uh, we have some Tomei SR20 test, pi uh, test pipes. Yeah, Tomei. SR20 test pipes in stock right here in house. We got our new buddy, the gnome. I don't know if you've ever met him, but you'll get to, you'll get to know him soon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, what else we got? What else? We, oh, as you can see, this room is quite empty. We're having the contractors come tomorrow morning. We're going to build a bathroom in this corner. And over here, we're going to blow that back wall out and have a, some type of counter to... It's like a, this is going to be like a retail parts showroom, so there's going to be a counter there. You'll, you'll, you'll see it in a few weeks. Maybe you'll see it next hot lap. There, there's going to be some progress being made. Um, if anybody needs a muffler system... For a 2023-24 M2 G87 BMW, it has the flaps in it for the exhaust. Please buy this. We have no use for it. Somebody left it here. So, yeah. What else we got going? Oh, regarding last uh, hot lap, you saw me bang my, my old noggin on the garage door. Play the clip right now, Eddie. Unedited. Full, full clip. See you guys later. Yep. <laughs> you think that was long enough? Okay. Uh, yeah, but uh, HB underscore P747 says, Hope Malcolm's cabbage is okay. I did have a bruise. I did have a bruise for the next two days. I didn't think I hit it that hard, but it was uh, quite the smack. Uh, Mr. Kent59 says, How did those blue lifts get installed behind Frankie's back? I want a can of black spray paint in the man's hand ASAP. That would have been sick to have black lifts, but... That would have been way too much work. And the blue, it kind of goes with our blue accent of faction and the yellow arms, high vis, safety, bull. You know, sorry for cursing. Damn it. Uh, see, last week we had Daryl Vixamar on the podcast. Good friend of ours, good friend of Carl's, Daryl Vixamar. He's who I spoke about earlier. Earlier, he built his 
He put a 1J in his... That was a crow. <laughs> that was scary. Uh, he put a 1J in his Soarer, Toy- Toyota Soarer. So um, go listen to that podcast. He has some great stories about how him and Carl met, how we got into drifting. He's been, a, he's been around the game for a minute. Um, Moonlight Drivers 6528 says, OMG, thank you for the bump in volume in the YouTube podcast. This made my day. Why didn't you guys ever tell us that the volume was so low? We finally fixed it. It was just in the YouTube, Frankie. Don't, don't get too mad. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's good now. Uh, SHH White says, Daryl and Carl, big 1J guys. Hell yeah. Sour D, that's a throwback. Frankie's country raspy voice impersonation has me, had me sharp from laughing every time. Let's hear that country voice, brother. I forget what it was either. Hell yeah, brother. (laughs) That's good enough. Good enough for me. Um, Oh, Frankie, come here, come here. This is regards you. Come here. (laughs) Come on. Come here. Um, regarding the video that Eddie posted last week, uh, titled, we bought an S13 hatch shell, Camry on bronzes, uh, yeah. hatch, there was a few comments. Um, one of the, one of the ones I liked was you were talking about cutting it up and stuff, the fenders and such. Yeah. Uh, SRMX518 says you could cut the quarters big enough in a way to sell to someone else to, f- to fix their S chassis. I get what he's saying, but I'm not doing that because then smoke gets in it and yeah. Sorry. He's saying like cut the whole. Yeah, so you could donate it, donate it to somebody else. It could help some yeah. save somebody else's chassis. The proper way to do that is you just cut it up to where you need it, and you seal it, and you save all the metal. Because if you cut this whole thing out, which is what people do when they're new at this, mm-hmm. or they think they need an FD car, so they just build an FD car. Yikes. They cut they cut all this out, and then it smokes whole inside up, and yeah. Yeah. So no, can't do that. Yeah. This will not be an organ donor. Sorry. It's either going to stay like this or it's going to get cut up and yeah. All right. I don't know. Uh, Steven Gibson says, this car means so much to me. Uh, his blog and, and this car have shaped me in so many ways. So, so many ways car related and personally, thank you for making sure and it got taken. And th- per- no, he's oh, saying personally, 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 thank you for making <laughs> sure it got taken care of. If you want to buy it, let me know. That's crazy. No, no, no. Um, yeah, I mean, me too. You did, you did one for the community. Yeah, I didn't want to see get, I didn't want to see that takeover, you know. Yeah, or somewhere out west where they just beat the Even cars. Even worse, I didn't want to see like Tom Nazaro get something like this, you know. Speaking of Tom Nazaro, let's go look <laughs> at that quarter panel. Uh, he took a trip to Drift Appalachia a few weeks ago. Um, uh, there was a clip of him and a whole crew like Dre. Uh, Drift team haze, haze drift team, re-glassing his whole bumper. What, what happened, Tom? What happened? What's going on? Hey, but uh, I see you got a new exhaust. Come in here. Where is it? Am I blind? Did you take the exhaust? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> Little axle dump exhaust. Thing was. Super loud. She had a velocity stack on it. Said it had a velocity stack on it. She had a diesel truck exhaust. God damn. Uh, but yeah, back to the Camry on bronze car. It was a very iconic car. I mean, according to everybody else, I wasn't really that knowledgeable on... Damn, Chris says it's never moving. At least it'll be a... It's a relic. It's a piece of art. Museum piece. Museum piece. But yeah, shout out to Camry on Bronze. Um, he's actually in the comments. He's encouraging Frankie to chop it up and thrash it. What? Yeah. He said, chop it up, Frankie, do it. That yeah, he says, I'm so thankful the car went to you, man. Thank you for making the trip. I hope to visit the shop one of these days. He said, cut it up? He literally said, cut it up. Look at it right here. Up. Chop it up. I highlighted it. That's up. You got the permission. I know. He's me. Damn. Frankie is, seems opposed. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, but uh, can you keep it down? Sorry. We're I'm filming gonna... something. I feel like I'm going to try to sell that thing before I f-ing cut it up. That's insane. But I, I can't, I guess, because then someone will cut it up. 
Yeah. So. You gotta you gotta do it. You gotta do it. You gotta do it, Frankie. <laughs> You're gonna do it. <laughs> You're gonna do it. <laughs> uh Rosara Man says, based on Frankie's very own to 40, his taste is never wrong. So if he decides to cut the rear fenders and make the car not look like what it used to be, I bet it's still gonna look good. What a nice guy. Thanks, man. That yeah. Was nice. That was Rosara Man 512. Nice compliment. Nice compliment. We appreciate people like you. Um, yep, yep, oh, people have some questions about that um, outro of the last hot lap where I banged my head, we'll go back to that. Ken Fujimatsu asks if I can dunk a basketball. No, I cannot, but I would like to one day. Maybe I should stop smacking my head. And Rich Whiteman, he says, that's him walking through every doorway in Japan. <laughs> Cause he's, isn't he like 6'3 or something, 6'4? Big ad, boy. <sighs> oh, all right. As always, Frankie, I mean, Eddie put out an Instagram questions prompt. Uh, should we change the scenery up? Let's get some sunlight. Let's get some sunlight. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Jake? T.H. Jordan says, what's good with the premiere at Faction? Um, the video's not done. Jeremy, Jeremy Z, his Instagram is, I think. Yo, follow Jeremy on Instagram. Comment on all his posts. Yo, can't wait for the Faction movie. Let's go. And then we're going to make a whole, what is it called? Promotion for the premiere. And then see how that goes. Hopefully the shop is in an attractive enough state to have people here. Frankie says it will be. Uh, Frankie, Riff underscore Raff underscore, Eric Sangimino says, KBD son or Heritage Heart Wheels daughter? I don't even know what those wheels are. They're just, uh, have hearts. It's oh, just, the spokes the are hearts. The He'd rather have the heart, the Heritage Heart Wheels daughter than the KBD son. I think I might go the same. Um, Twitch Drift says Faction needs to host a damn event already. We've been telling. I mean, you know who's going to probably do this before Frankie does it? Carl's probably going to take charge, then bring Frankie under his wing, and, you know, he's going to formulate some way to have an event. And then Frankie would be like, all right, I'm down, after Carl figures it all out. Um... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh. Actually, I'll do this one first. Tyler, say what? You got that kick flip, kick flip this week? Where'd that skateboard go? It's gone. But funny thing is, I was in my garage at home and I found my skateboard. And it's not as beat up as that one, so let's try it. Come on. Come on. The other one, the grip tape was like. I have my skateboard too. Actually. Do you really? I have my skateboard too. I don't know why. My brother in law gave me this. It's a. Damn, yours looks a lot better. Mine is. I never watched an episode of Dragon Ball Z in my life. Don't know. What is yours? What's yours? I don't know. Mug Z. Miguel gave it to me. Damn. Yours looks wider. Yep, I'm going with this one. Let's give it a try. All right, Tyler, let's see if I got that kick flip this week. Damn, this tail is fucked up. That's me. <laughs> Boom, first try. First try. Kick flip. Look at the roll away. I'm just keeping it going. Should I do one more? Back to back? Back to back? I, I got overzealous. That's, uh, it's, it's a lot more grippier than the last one. All right. Let's, uh, maybe we should finish, finish off on this. If they're willing. Uh, simple underscore Smith says, toolbox 
top drawer tour. So I guess it's exclusive to the top drawer. Oh, they arguing over there. Yo, yo, yo. Leave it out. Keep it at home. A little inspection of the lights. Efficient. Chris, 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 Chris. What? Don't touch that. You don't touch that. Come here. Come here. Wait a minute. Listen. No, it's, let's get a toolbox top drawer tour. Only top drawer. No. Everybody knows the top drawer is the worst drawer. <laughs> Damn, look at try to Try to get it. You can see it peeking out. You can see it peeking out. Damn. Jesus. Get on and get on out here. Top drawer, toolbox tour. Top drawer. Only top drawer. Damn. Snap on connoisseur. You got money. No, I got debt. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Frankie, 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 Frankie. Look, oh, jeez. Jesus, what? You donate to Chris's Toolbox Foundation. You can find the link in the in the section below. This is Frankie's. And that's it. Another snap on. I had to buy Fanatic. these pry bars in order to get the the gnome. The gnome. Yeah, I shouted him out a couple times already. <laughs> yeah, so top drawer only. So Chris is uh just not a. Chris is using a box. That's it. <laughs> Oh, but it is a snap-on, though. All right, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just older. All right, well, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. This is another hot lap. Monday, May 13th. Happy Mother's Day yesterday. Um, yeah, shout out to the moms out there. And if you need work done on your car, Come through. Got the alignment rack. We're, we're not exclusive to, you know, drift cars, JDM. We'll, we'll work, work on your daily drivers, oil change, tires. We do it all besides tuning and body work. You know what I mean? Jelly bean. <laughs> all right. Like, comment, subscribe. Say goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. He's mad about the toolbox still. God damn it. <laughs> All right. Peace out, everybody. What, what should be the outro this week? Um, I don't want to hurt myself again. <laughs> A split? Oh, like just tap the toes? No. <laughs> what the hell was that? Um, I was going to put this down. Uh, all right, here we go. T try to touch my toes? Both sides. Both sides? All right. See you later, everybody. dude oh f how did I, I hurt my shoulder doing that somehow my legs are fine yeah I gotta stretch I, I am I am not flexible if anybody would like to teach me how to be flexible that's never mind never mind <laughs> never have a good one god damn it